Hello everyone, today I will introduce what VLAN is. Let's say that this should be my router. My router is also a switch, meaning it has various Ethernet ports. The router is connected to the Internet over the one port. And between the router and the Internet, I have a firewall. That firewall has different zones. Let's call them LAN, IoT, Guest, and WAN. I can now define traffic rules, for example, if I want to allow internet for my guests, but they should not be able to connect to my devices in the LAN. The lot devices, on the other hand, such as my IP cameras or my vacuum cleaner should be blocked from internet access. A normal LAN user should have internet access and also be able to access the IoT devices. I can create multiple Wi-Fi or SSIDs and assign them to the right firewall zone. This way a user connecting to a specific Wi-Fi will always be mapped to the right firewall zone. But I can of course also assign Ethernet interfaces to the firewall zones. If I had two physical interfaces on my router, it would create two physical LANs and assign one to the LAN ports of the switch and one to the Internet port of the switch. If I had two physical interfaces on my router it would create two LANs and assign one to the LAN ports of the switch and one to the Internet port of the switch. If I only have one Ethernet interface in my router it would do the same thing, but rather than creating physical LANs, it would create a virtual LAN, a VLAN. It does this by adding sub-interfaces to the existing Ethernet interface and mapping VLAN1 to Ethernet 0.1 and VLAN2 to Ethernet 0.2. So in fact you might already have VLANs on your router without even knowing. You are not limited to two VLANs, but you can create many more. And you can map each of these to one or more ports of your, in our case, we create a third interface either 0 the 3 assign it to the lock firewall zone and map it to a port on the switch. We do the same thing with VLAN4 and maybe to another port on the switch into the guest network. If I connected the PC to the green part, it would receive an IP address from the LAN interface and be assigned to the right firewall zone. If I connect it to the port, it would be in the lot zone. You do not need a router to do this. A managed switch can do exactly the same thing. It can map Ethernet ports to violence. You can only have one VLAN per switch port, which is logical because you can only connect one device to it and the device doesn't know about VLANs and we don't tell it about it either. What if I want to transfer multiple VLANs over one cable? For example, extend my guest's Wi-Fi to a second access point. In this case, I can assign all three VLANs to one single port, but I have to attack. Then the device that is connected to the attack port needs to understand violent hacking in order to redistribute the signals to the right interfaces. My router can understand tagging so it is able to dispatch a device that is connected to the managed switch to the right interface and hence to the right firewall. Okay, I've finished studying this content. See you next time.